How long should your YouTube videos actually be? I mean, like, really. How long should a YouTube video really be? You know, people ask this question all the time, and I can't tell you how many videos I've watched online um, in my quest to research what the answer really should be, you know? And the truth is, I think the answer, um, you know, as far as a time frame, uh, or a range of time that um, good self-help how-to videos fall under or fall within is usually three to six six minutes. Okay, that's a very good time frame. If you just want a very black and white, just straight up uh, answer that most people will tell you that. Statistics will tell you. There's your answer, okay? Done. Video done. Just kidding. Okay. I did not, like, sit down to create this video just to tell you what everybody else is telling you. Okay? If you keep your... If you keep your, um... Your... Your self-help videos... And I'm not talking about, like, random funny videos or just random crap. Okay? I'm talking about if you are trying to build a YouTube channel teach something, build content around a topic, whatever, and you're trying to figure out how long your instructional videos, self-help videos uh, should be. This is the type of video we're talking about, okay? What I'm doing, I'm teaching you something, I'm, I'm, I'm creating video content on a specific topic, okay? And, and giving you my opinion, my knowledge on this topic. Okay, um, hold on. Okay, the phone was ringing. I just wanted to uh, stop the video for a second, so we did not have to listen to that. Okay, so um, how long should it be, I think, really comes down to... And the, and the reason why I'm doing this video is because I've noticed my videos are, on my channel are a lot longer than I expected them to be thus far. They're a lot longer than I wanted them to be. I'm trying to fall within this range, and not so much you know, as low as three... You know, if you have some things to say, if you have a lot of content to put in your videos, it's hard to cover a lot of content in a short amount of time, okay? you got to realize that it's not so much about how many minutes, it's about how much value there is. And value is a very, very vague general term, okay? People use that a lot and try to glorify themselves and, and talk about that and... and Make it sound like they're smarter than they really are, okay? Let's let's talk about that that term real quick. Value is completely subjective, okay? If someone thinks that your video was really great from the beginning to the end and they got something useful out of it and there was a lot of things they liked about it, that's going to be valuable then, to them, right? But another person could watch the same video because the other person told them they should watch it. This is really good. And that could, person could say, oh, that video sucked. I didn't like anything about it. I didn't like that guy. I didn't think that was very useful. And maybe that person knew a lot more about the subject matter, you know? Who knows? The bottom line is your goal is to make your video, your content in your video, valuable to the person watching it. Okay? If you don't know anything about your topic, but you're just talking out of your ass... It's going to be obvious. If you do know something about your topic and you know that you know more than most people, people will, most people will consider you an expert on the topic. So you first of all want to make sure that you do have some you know, expertise on your topic. Otherwise, your videos are not going to be very good. The content's not going to be very good. And most people will not find it valuable. But if... if you do have good things to say and you are knowledgeable about something, don't worry about it, you know? I wouldn't crank out all the videos I'm cranking out if I didn't know what I was talking about, okay? And you're not going to be right or 100% correct on everything. Everybody has opinion, and most things are subject subjective. There are different preferences, you know? Um, one person could be right about something, and you could be right about the same thing, just in different ways, okay? So... You don't want to overthink of it. Think it. You just you want just want to cover enough content um, 
to make sure that your video is valuable. What I like to do is I just write, I like to write down my speaking points on a piece of paper. I have it right here. Okay. Right here. My handwriting's horrible. I'm not going to let you look at it for a while. But just to prove there's writing there, and I have three speaking points. So the first one is as long as there is value. Okay. The next one is three to six minutes is a typical standard. And I'll get to the third one in just a minute. But I'm just telling you, I already have an idea of what I want to say in this video. So I'm not just redundant, saying the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. And that's up to you to, to decide if I've been that way in this video. We're already going on uh, almost six minutes now, okay? So the point is, you just want to make sure there is value um, in, in your video. If you're convinced that the video was valuable, that you had some good speaking points, you offer some good facts, some, maybe some statistics, you were funny, you are entertaining, um, you were dynamic with your voice. Um, you you had good charisma. Um, the actual content, the actual points were justifiable. They made sense. Uh, there was some good research in video. Whatever. You know, you could go on all day. Content is always going to be subjective whether it's valuable or not. If you're convinced it is, that's the only person you need to worry about convincing yourself you're convinced the video is valuable you just do it and it starts with the prep work and you write down your speaking points because um otherwise you're just going to be improvising lost words because you don't have an agenda and a mental flow of what the next point is that you're going to talk about okay i do this with every video all right and my last speaking point in this video is if it's watchable all the way through it's probably valuable to a lot of people, okay? The whole point is you want watch time. You you want people to watch your videos all the way through and you want them to click on something at the end. This is how you make money, okay? If it's watchable all the way through, people are watching it, then it's probably valuable, okay? If people are clicking up, it probably wasn't valuable. So how long should a video be? It really doesn't matter. If a, if a 60 minute video is just loaded with content and it was meant to be 60 minutes, a long tutorial video to teach you how to do something. And if it's, it's, it, let's say it's precise and tells you exactly what you wanted to know, it accomplishes your, it, it is a solution to your problem, it was valuable, okay? You would probably agree. You know, if a, if a video is 15 minutes long, or let's say an eight minute video like this one, and you find yourself clicking your clicking off after two or three minutes because you can't stand the person and the uh, information sucked. It wasn't valuable. If it's eight minutes and you're still watching and you liked it and you got something out of it and usable information, it was valuable. This is, I mean, it's all personal opinion, okay? But if you are convinced that your video is valuable, don't worry how long it is. You probably want to try to aim for shorter videos because people do tend to click off. What I'm saying is do not be afraid to create long videos if the information is really good. But just don't make all your videos that way.